Well, let's go here. Oh my fucking god, look at this guy. Jesus Christ, that's scary. Good evening, guys, and welcome to... Moirai... 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 A, a game from Steam. You know, it was one of those days, one of those evenings, to just... Came home, it's pretty late, I'm tired, I didn't know what to play. So I just opened Steam and clicked the first thing that looked mildly interesting. I've seen some other people play this, but I don't remember what it's about. It looks pretty cool. And it's kind of low res. That's apparently fun these days. Okay, let's press space to start and see what this is all about. Oh boy, okay, so... Wow. Mm, okay, so I don't need my mouse for this, I am just... I can just control this hands-free because you turn using A and D and it's confusing as hell. Howdy. Talk. How do I talk? Enter. Space. There we go. My prayers go out to poor Julia. It's been a year since her husband has passed. She hasn't been seen all day. Ah. Oh. oh, I imagine she's grieving. Do you mind visiting her at her home? In the house to the right as you leave town. So who am I supposed to be? Am I not a resident of this town? Because if I am, how how would I not know? Well, this is your town, it's four houses. Okay. Howdy there, person. Girl. I I can't. I'm I'm really tr oh there we go. Sometimes daddy lets us pat the sheep on the head. They're so soft. It That is so confusing. Hey boy. You need to stay close to mama, otherwise she'll worry that we've run off. I mean, you're literally like two meters away. She, I'm pretty sure she won't. Talk to mother. That's creepy. Did you hear about the boy? Julia lost her son in the, in the cave shortly after her husband died. Poor Julia. I would never let my boys get out of my sight. What do you mean boys? I only saw one. So you legit immediately left one, let one out of your sight. That is just very much not responsible. Okay, is there any point in um, exploring this town? Since it's... Since it's basically four houses, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna check it out quickly. Yeah, read this to the farm. You, I don't think I don't want to go to the farm yet. Let's go in, enter a cabin. We have uh, very nice graphics. Uh, what about you, girl? My uncle and dad are out chopping wood to keep us warm in the winter. They should be home soon. Wait, 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 wait. Well, it's great that they're chopping wood, but you don't have a fireplace. What the, what the hell are you going to burn it? In the middle of the room? It's a wooden cabin. Yeah, you're going to be very warm then. <laughs> Shit's going to catch on fire immediately. Uh, okay, we just have uh, one guy here who all who has two beds. Let's see what's that for. I heard there's gold in the cave, but I'm too scared to enter. They say there's a little boy that hounds over your shoulder. What? The guy went, the, the one who went missing. Okay. Now let's check out this cabin. I'm just entering people's home. Wow, that looks fucking creepy. This guy looks like a mass killer. It looks like a lovely day outside. You should head out to the farm if you get the chance. Spend some time with the animals. Yeah, the chef. Okay, this guy is a mass murderer. Doesn't even have a kitchen in his home. Calls himself a chef. Okay, this is where the priest guy wants us to go. Ooh, there's a... There's a frame here. Look at the bookshelf. There's a picture on the shelf of a wife, a husband, and a young boy. I wonder where they are. Well, probably all dead in the cave. Let's just be honest. Okay, I can't interact with anything else. Should I talk back to the priest? Julia is not home yet. Maybe she's out by the farm. If you could find her, that would be appreciated. Alright, father. I'm gonna go to the farm. Let's go. Now we are at the farm, which... Okay. Farm. Wow. That is very... It's so annoying that I can't, like, walk sideways. So just have to keep facing forward, then stop, look. Oh my god. Okay, that's the cave. That looks horrible. Something about these graphics just make shit look scarier than it is. Hi, sheep. <laughs> Wait, poke sheep. Let's poke this one. Ooh. Oh my god, the production value. Different sheep noises. Okay, so far we got two. Let's see how many different sheep noises we can get. Oh yeah, that's. I think it's just these two. Oh my god, this is a new one. What's that? 
Was it four different sheep noises? Holy shit! I mean, this game uses like five colors, but has four different sheep noises. What? Okay, open barn door. The door is locked. Well, that is just swell. Isn't it? Okay, I also like how the trees dance when I walk. Well, let's go here. Oh my fucking god, look at this guy. Jesus Christ, that's scary. Hey, lumberjack. My brother and I were chopping wood when we heard moans coming from the cave. My brother went in to investigate. He should have been back by now. I'm worried. Can you check on him? There's a lantern behind that you could s that behind you on that stump. See, why don't you check on him? You're a badass lumberjack with a goddamn axe. Picked up lantern on the stump. It's a very specific. Well, let's go inside. Pretty sure this is gonna be fine. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hey, you! Come over here! Ooh, music. Did my brother send you? Bless him. The moans are coming from the further down. I'd go in, but my side's no good. You should take this knife. Who knows, you may need it. Ooh, I have a shank. I can't use it, though. My arm is beautiful. It's just like this thin. Okay. Left. Um, I'm gonna get lost in here, aren't I? So confusing. The walking is ah. Uh, I can lie that the movement makes it much scarier because look into all. I can see something shiny. It's just out of my reach. Well, that's a shame. All the way back. I'm the only one who's getting a headache out of all this. Ugh. The graphics are not helping. It, it's like hurting my eyes. Okay, what do we have here? A book. Look at tools. There are some tools leaning against the wall. It looks as though they've been used to mark carvings on the wall. Oh, these are carvings. Oh, I see. So they're like... It's like crossing years off. Look at the book. There's a book on the top of this pedestal. It's labeled... Farmers. There's a list of names inside. Simon. Simon Sodka. Fuck you. Um. Janskja. Janskja. How eerie. What the fuck is that? I'm sorry. Sorry for mispronouncing. It is. I, I don't even know if there is a way to pronounce that correctly. Probably is. I'm just dumb. Okay, out of here, and let's go down the middle road this time. I hope this cave is not too long, because it's really, it's really not nice on the eyes. Oh, God. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it is slightly scary because of the, the movement, like, limited. Oh, boy. Hi, you there. A farmer approaches. Heidi, why do you blood your overalls? Why do you have a knife? I heard moans. Uh, so let's start with the blood and overalls. I try to help. Um, I heard moans. What have you done? Sure, what have you done? Nothing. And uh, why do you have a knife? Reasons. Let them pass. Well, you're fine. I'm not gonna mess with that guy. Jesus Christ. He's probably gonna shank my ass. What have we here? Um. Huh. Sorry, what? I heard some voices. Oh, we're probably just outside. Sorry about that. Let's keep going. Oh boy. What's up with you? Ugh, please help me. I am in a lot of pain. Oh, I couldn't tell by the pool of blood that's all around you. Come here to end my life. My name is Julia, and I want to see my child and my husband in heaven. Well then why do you want my help? You want me to just end it? My husband was a miner in these caves. He spent days mining for gold, and then one day he found something. He found a golden nugget. I thought we could retire and be comfortable for the rest of our lives, but he didn't trust me. He buried the golden nugget to spite me, then he disappeared. Everyone in the town heard about our good fortune. They thought I was rich, 
I was so ashamed that I couldn't tell them the truth. One day, my son wandered into the cave. He wanted to find his daddy. He wanted to make everything better. He just probably wanted that gold. But he never came out of the cave. I went to look for him, but I couldn't find him. Now it's too late. And now I have nobody. Well, and you're about to be dead in a while, so it doesn't really matter. Will help me? Will you help end my life? Uh, no. No, I'm going to get help. Then leave me, you coward. She spurts blood over you. Well, now I'm gonna fuck you up. You fucking bitch. Oh, okay. I, I get what's gonna happen. Now I'm gonna be the one walking out with the knife. Covered in blood. And someone gonna be like, Oh, what up, dog? Well, I let him go. So he better let me go. Asshole. Oh, hi. A farmer approaches. Why do you have blood in your overalls? Oh uh, shit, what did he respond? Uh, I tried to help. Why do you have a knife? Reasons. I heard moans. What have you done? Nothing. Let me see what will happen to you. And this is where the story shall end, at least for now. It is up to the next player of this game to choose your fate. Just as you chose for the previous player. Enter your first name. Okay. Enter your email. Holy shit! Okay. Alright. You will be emailed about your fate. Thank you for playing. Press space to submit your details. What? And the game quits. Well... Really? Okay, well guys, that was it. That was a bit too short, but I uh, was an interesting experience for sure. I don't know how to feel about that. Um, well, anyways, I guess today's video was kind of shorter. Definitely an interesting concept. Um, if they email me, I'm gonna make sure to at least tweet about it or something. So, yeah, yeah there you go, shameless plug. Follow me on Twitter at the last bacon anyways that is all for me for now guys get ready because this weekend we're gonna be getting the alien isolation game talk which is a video that obviously takes a bit more work which is you know maybe maybe i can be excused for today's shorter video anyways hope you guys still enjoyed if you did make sure to check back in for more now make sure to do more i wish you all the rest of this evening and i will see you in the next one bye bye